Hey everybody, so Miss Kitty's having to record this video because the Facebook Live wasn't working. So, you want to record this short video about some fun facts about rabbits that will be coming to you on Facebook and YouTube. So, our animal of the week this week was a rabbit. And I learned some really cool things this week while researching rabbits for you. So, this was one of my favorite books when I got some good facts about. It's a book called Pet Pals about pet rabbits. Because rabbits can be pets, too. So, one of the inter most interesting things that you might already know are that rabbits are what are called herbivores. So, what that means is they eat grass and plants. So, they don't eat meat. Like some, like some animals do. Um, and another cool thing that I learned was rabbits that live in the wild live in family groups and underground homes called warrens. So a warren is kind of like, the way I picture it is like an underground maze that has a lot of entrances and exits. And it's got sleeping areas and nursery runs for the baby rabbits. So... And that's a picture of what's called a hare. Now, they're from the same um, family as rabbits, but and they may look alike and they eat the same foods. But hare and rabbits have, have different ways of surviving in the wild. So, the difference is that rabbits, they, they go underground to get away from their predators. But hares, they're really fast. They can run up to 45 miles per hour. I thought that was so fascinating. But getting back to the other rabbits. So a female rabbit is called a doe. And when she has her babies, they're called kits. Sounds kind of like kitten, doesn't it? So what she does is she makes a nest using fur from her under lily. So she uses fur from her own body for her nest. And baby rabbits are born without fur. Can you picture that, rabbits while they look far? I know, I can't either. But they're born and their eyes are closed and they can't hear. So those senses come later. But they develop very quickly. Within two months, the babies, they don't need to be cared for anymore. And within five months, those babies are ready to have babies on their own. That's crazy, isn't it? So that was some information from that page. And let's see, another fun fact are that rabbits have been so successful in the wild that they now live on every continent on Earth except Antarctica, which is where it's really cold. It's where the South Pole is. So it's kind of on the bottom of the Earth if you're looking at like a globe. So there's rabbits on every continent except for where it's really cold. So... Here's another picture of a cute bunny, and he's got floppy ears. His ears don't stand up like this rabbit. Her ears are kind of pointing back. So rabbits, once their hearing develops, they can hear very, very well, and their ears can turn, I think I read 360 degrees, and their vision, their eyes are on the sides of their head, so they have a good range of vision. So, like you and I, we have to turn our head to see what's over there or what's over there. They don't have to do that. They can see because their eyes are on the side of their head. And they can also see a little bit behind them. And rabbits typically live until around eight years old. So, compared to like cats and dogs, that's a little bit shorter. But for rabbits, that's a really good age for a rabbit. So this picture tells you a little bit about the rabbit's body parts. So of course they have a nose and they've got whiskers like a kitty cat. They've got eyes and mouth and teeth and their teeth never stop growing. So in order to keep their teeth from growing too much, that's why you give them lots of things to, good things to eat like hay and things to chew on to kind of keep their teeth in good health and keep them trimmed. Because otherwise, they just keep growing. It's crazy. 
And of course the bunny has its tail and its fur, which is also called a coat. So some rabbits can have long, short, or even curly fur. So, and there's a, this rabbit right here is a Netherland dwarf and it has tiny ears and weighs just two pounds. So that was about what a kitten weighs. Like my kitten at home right now, Milo weighs about two and a half pounds. So she would be a little bit heavier than this dumb dwarf bunny. So there's some big bunnies like the New Zealand white, which weighs nine to 12 pounds. And there's an even bigger rabbit called a Flemish giant that weighs 25 pounds. That's bigger than some dogs. And of course there's medium sized rabbits, which are about five pounds. And this is a Dutch white. And this is a New Zealand white. Oh, a Dutch rabbit, not a Dutch white, Dutch rabbit. That's a New Zealand white. And this has some pictures. This this rabbit is called an English lop. So what that means is he's got really long and floppy ears. So lop-eared rabbits, they take special care because you have to wash their ears to keep them clean. So, and another interesting fact I'm going to share with you before I end our video for today is that bunnies... Well, rabbits, bunnies, just another word for rabbit. That you know how sometimes you might get sick and your tummy might hurt and then you throw up, which isn't the most fun thing. Well, guess what? Rabbits can't throw up. So that's a problem because sometimes if they eat something that's bad for them, they can't throw it back up. So I didn't know that about rabbits, that they couldn't throw up like we do. An interesting fact about another animal that can't throw up is a horse. So sometimes that's why they can have some tummy troubles and have more trouble than we do because they don't have that ability to get bad stuff out of their tummy. So, and so after that gross fun fact, um, let me see if I can find you a fun one. So, and I told you that bunnies, they do also do what cats do. They can purr. And another fun thing they have in common with cats is that they lick themselves to clean themselves. So, I've learned so much about rabbits that I didn't know. And, of course, the library has some great books. Miss Carey really recommends this one. This one is good for younger children. And then there's this one that's called How to Convince Your Parents You Can Care for a Pet Bunny. So, those are the three bunny books I had today. So, I'll see you again next week, guys, when our animal of the week will be snakes. So, you'll have to help Miss Carrie not be scared because Miss Carrie doesn't really like snakes. But I'll still read you stories and we'll learn some fun facts about snakes. So, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.